This is how you can make a temp ban system for your Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you're interested in getting the source code from this video or any of the other videos on my channel, you can go ahead and join a god tier on Discord, or you can go ahead and get a super or god tier subscription on YouTube. We also offer the bot tier on both platforms, which is the full zip file of the exact bot used in the tutorial videos. We also offer three bot packages, which are fully coded Discord bots based on a specific topic. All of this will be in the description below if you're interested, and with that, let's go ahead and get into the code. Alright, so to start, let's go ahead and go over to schemas, and we're going to go ahead and create tempband.js. You're going to need to save a guild string, a user string, and a band time string. After you go ahead and save all of this information, we can go ahead and close out. We're going to go over to commands, and here we're going to go ahead and create tempband.js. So the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and get our slash command builder and our embed builder from our discord.js package. We're also going to go ahead and get ms from our ms package, and we're going to get temp ban from our schemas. Then we're going to go ahead and do module that exports. We're going to go ahead and get our data. That is going to be our new slash command builder. We're going to go ahead and set a name, which is going to be temp ban. We can go ahead and set a description, which is going to be ban a member for a period of time. Then we're going to go ahead and add a couple of options. The first is going to be a user option with the name member, the description of the member to temp ban, and we're going to set required to true. We're going to add a string option with the name duration, the description of the duration to ban the member for. We're also going to make that true. We're going to go ahead and add another string option with the name reason the description of the reason for banning the member that is also going to be true uh, and then we're going to go ahead and make an integer option with the name delete messages the description of number of days to delete the messages from and then we're going to set our min value to zero and our maximum value to seven above here we're also going to go ahead and make this a mod command so this is within the dev toolkit package so you can go ahead and do that or you can make a permission check either one is fine then we're going to go ahead and do async executes and we're going to go ahead and get our interaction and we can go ahead and open this up let's go ahead and start off by getting our options from our interaction here then we can go in and do const member equals options dot get user we're going to get our member we can do const time equals options to get string and that's going to be our duration then we're going to go ahead and do const duration equals ms and we're going to ms our time then we can do const reason equals options to get string reason and we can do const delete messages equals options that get integer um, and we're going to go ahead and set that to delete messages then we're going to do async function send a message we can go ahead and pass in our message parameter let's go ahead and do const embed equals new embed builder we're going to go ahead and set a color we can go to make this blur pool we're going to go ahead and set a description to our message then we can do await interaction dot reply and we're going to go ahead and get our embeds which is going to be our embed and then we're going to go ahead and set infermal to true on that message as well. So now we're going to go ahead and do const bans equals await interaction dot guild. And we can do dot bans dot fetch. Then we're going to go ahead and do var band equals false. We can do await bans and we can do dot for each. And we're going to go ahead and async our ban and we can go ahead and open this up here. Within this, let's just go ahead and say if ban dot user dot ID equals our member dot ID then we can just go ahead and set band to true. Down here, we're going to say if, and we can do band, then we're just going to go in and return await send message, and we can go ahead and say our caution emoji in here, and we're going to go ahead and say that user is already banned, just like that. Now we're going to go ahead and do await temp band create. Within this, we can go ahead and get our guild, which is going to be our interaction guild ID. We're going to go ahead and get our user, which is going to be our member ID. Let's go ahead and get our ban time, which is going to be date dot now. And then we're going to add our duration to it in milliseconds. Then after we do that, we can actually go ahead and ban the member. So before we do that, let's go ahead and do var error equals false. This is going to be our error handling system. Then we can do await interaction dot guild dot bans dot create. We're going to go ahead and get our member.id, and then we can open up an object. We're going to get our reason, which is going to be reason. We're going to get delete message days, which is going to be delete messages, just like that. And we're going to go ahead and catch an error here. We're going to open this up, and if we have an error, we're going to go ahead and set error to true, and we're also going to go ahead and console.log that error so the developers can see the reason why that error is happening. Then after we do that, we're going to say if error, and we can go ahead and return await send message. And we're going to go ahead and get a caution emoji. Within this, we can say something went wrong. After that, we're going to say else. 
and we can do a wait send message and within this we can say member has been banned for time for reason just like that so with that our command is actually done so now we actually have to go ahead and create the system that handles the unbanning because so far after you run this command you're going to have banned the member so now we got to go ahead and create the system to unban that member after the specified period of time. So to do that, let's go ahead and go over to events and we're going to go ahead and create tempban.js. Within this, we're going to start by getting our embed builder and our events from our discord.js package as well as tempban from our tempban schema. Then we can do module.exports and we're going to get our name, which is going to be events at client ready. Then we can do async executes. So we're going to go in and get our clients and we can open this up. Let's go ahead and start off by writing a function. So we're going to do async function and we can do unban and we're going to go ahead and get our ban data. Then we can go ahead and open this up. So let's do const delay equals and we can do ban data dot ban time minus date dot now. So we're going to go ahead and get the delay for the timeout that we need to set below but first let's go ahead and say if delay is less than or equal to zero then we're just going to go ahead and return then we can do set timeouts and we can do async function we can go ahead and open this up we're going to try and we're going to catch an error uh, and within this catch error let's just go ahead and console.error and we can say error unbanning member and we're going to pass in our error as well. So now within our try, we can do const guild equals awaits clients dot guilds dot fetch. And we're going to get our band data dot guild. Then we're going to do awaits guild dot bands dot remove. And we're going to do our band data dot user. Then we can do await temp band dot delete one. And we're going to go ahead and get our ID, which is going to be band data dot. And we can do ID as well. So we're going to go ahead and delete the ban from our temp ban schema because they have been unbanned here. So now let's go ahead and set our interval. So we're just going to go ahead and set that to the delay, which means that after this specified amount of time is up, then we're going to run everything in here. So after we have our function complete, we can actually go ahead and do const data equals await temp ban dot find. Then we can do data dot for each and for each iteration of that, we can go ahead and run our unban function. Now we can do temp ban dot watch and we can do dot on and we can do change and then we can do async. We can async our change and we can go ahead and open this up. Uh, we're going to do if change dot operation type is equal to insert. We can open up a if statement and within this we're going to do const new unban equals change dot full document and then we can go ahead and run that function that we just created with that new unban right here so basically what we've done here is we've created a function that takes in all the ban data sets a timeout as to when we need to actually unban the user from the data uh, and then we go ahead and unban that user once the time is set so after the time is up then that's when we're going to go ahead and run the unban we do this by using a watch event that checks to see every single time that the temp ban schema is updated with an insert change meaning a new temp ban has been created and when that happens we run our schedule unban function so that's all we have to do for both of these commands so let's go ahead and save the file restart the bot and test this out all right so over in the discord we can actually go in and test this out let's go ahead and run temp bin i'm just going to go ahead and get a member that i want to ban this is going to be my alt account we're going to go ahead and get the duration for the ban i'm just going to do one minute uh, and then the reason is testing. We're not actually gonna go ahead and use the delete message function in this test because that is a Discord specific function and that has nothing to do with the code we've created today. Also, the member is not in the server, so there's no messages for them to delete. So now let's go ahead and run that command. And as you can see, it's gonna go ahead and ban this account from the server for one minute. Now, if we were to try this again real quick, we do 10 seconds, we say test. Um, now, as you can see here, it's going to say that user is already banned because uh, just before we've already banned them. And if we go into our ban settings, as you can see, the user is banned. So now let's go ahead and wait for one minute and we can actually go ahead and watch as the user gets unbanned from the server by the bot after the time expires. And as you can see, it's going to go ahead and unban the member. So now I have no bans in the server. All right, so that's how you can make an advanced temp ban system for your Discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use the help channels here. And we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.